Hi! With this tutorial, we will start a short series about blogging. In this particular video, we will discuss how to start a blog. In order to start a blog, you need to find a hosting provider. There are many hosting sites, but it's best to try WordPress recommended hostings such as Bluehost or Kinsta. After purchasing your needed pricing plan, you'll get cPanel credentials. Firstly, create a new domain. Please note that you need to buy a domain and some hostings separately. After that, go to the Application section and create a new WordPress site. Choose a domain, leave this field blank, enter your credentials and your blog name and description. Table prefix and My SQL Database section leave as default. Open the site and add backslash wp-admin backslash to your domain URL. Enter your login and password, which you entered earlier. Here's your dashboard. This section is available only for admins. Let's add a new theme. Themes are appearances for your website. Each theme has a unique style, and you can use free or premium themes. Premium themes come with paid plugins and functionality. For example, we will use Gutenberg WordPress theme. Go to the Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload section, and choose the theme. You can also install any free theme below. Then just import the needed demo. This is how our site looks. After importing the demo, you can easily change colors and templates of different parts of the theme. For my needs, I'm only going to change the colors. Also, some themes have extra options in the Customize section. Let's check the results. Then let's check the Header Builder section. This is part of the theme. All we need to do is just remove unnecessary blocks. You can also customize your header with whatever else you'd like. And this is how our header will look. Let's create a new post add a title, and choose Heading Element. Now we will add a paragraph and just insert the text here. You can also make the text bold, italic, and change the align. To add list, you need to use the same name element. There are also dots or number options. You can use these arrows to change element's position. To add one or more images, you can choose Gallery Element. Just choose or upload the needed images to this section. You can also manage alignment or make it full width. At the end, we will add a quote. It's very simple. In Post Options, you can change the position and hide elements. This is what it looks like. That's it! If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed our tutorials.